common sites for compression of the radial nerve can be found near the elbow, which collectively make up the posterior interosseous nerve compression syndrome. The PIN branches off the radial nerve at the level of the lateral epicondyle and is highlighted in purple for illustrative purposes. The first site of compression is at the radiocapitella joint, where fibrous tissue can compress on the nerve. Next is the extensor carpi radialis brevis, the swelling and thickening of which can compress on the nerve as well. Then there is the proximal edge of the supinator, also known as the arcade of Froge, which can compress on the radial nerve. Finally, there is the leash of Henry, which are recurrent radial vessels that fan out across the PIN at the level of the radial neck. This whole region is also known as the radial tunnel, which is described to be around 5 cm in length from the level of the radial capitella joint to past the proximal edge of the supinator. The flow of this tunnel is formed by the articular capsule of the radial capitella joint. The lateral walls are formed by the extensor carpi radialis muscles as well as the brachial radialis. And the medial walls are formed by the biceps tendon and the brachialis. Unlike the superficial radial branch which is shown in blue, the posterior interosseous nerve is a motor nerve and does not have any sensory innervation, therefore the compression of it is unlikely to have sensory symptoms.